Hey everybody, welcome back to Conscientious Omnivore. My name is Powell. It was a dark and stormy night. No, I'm just kidding. Um, why am I sitting here in the dark? Uh, I got the shade pulled down in the kitchen. It's actually late afternoon, so there's plenty of actual light out, but I just wanted to do a quick video to talk about something that I've been um, talking about for quite a while on the channel. Um, things uh, related to self, you know, sufficiency, self-reliance, all this kind of stuff, um, being prepared. And uh, one of the things that uh, I recently learned about was actually how to make these little lamps uh, or lanterns or whatever you want to call them. I guess they're oil lamps is probably the closest thing to what they actually are, I think is the right term. But uh, I only learned how to, about, uh, how to make these. I only learned about these pretty recently. And uh, I'm going to link a couple of videos in the comments um, uh, or in the description so you guys can check out the original videos. Um, I've done mostly kind of what I've seen in, in those videos, but I've changed it a little bit. So I'll kind of just talk um, more about some of the specifics that I've experienced. But uh, I figured I would show you guys because this is something that, you know, I've been um, going on about for quite a while, like uh, being prepared for food and, um, you know, water and things like this. And uh, I think it's just a really important thing that people know how to take care of themselves when some of the systems we live in might uh, possibly fail. And uh, these little lamps uh, are made with basically waste products for the most part. And, um, you know, it didn't really cost me much of anything except a little bit of time to get the hang of it and kind of make them. And uh, they would definitely serve well in a case where we would lose power or if, you know, for some reason, maybe you just didn't even have power. Uh, maybe you're um, camping or something like that. It could be a nice little thing just for sitting out at night, you know, enjoying the, uh, the evening with friends. Maybe around a campfire, have a couple of additional little lights that you can carry around with you. So I'm going to uh, pull the uh, shade up and then I'll show you guys kind of the situation here. <clears throat> Let's uh, pull the shade up. And now you can hopefully see the little um, lamps. They're basically just, uh, you know, jars uh, that we've had around. They're like, you know, jars of uh, jam or honey or whatever that we've had since forever and a day. Um, yes, I am vegan. No, I do not eat honey. These are from forever and a day ago uh, when I was still eating honey before I was vegan. But uh, anyway, so long story short is uh, these are actually burning uh, spent vegetable oil. So it's basically just using waste products. Um, there's basically, I guess three components. There's the jar itself, there's the spent um, cooking oil, and there's a wick, which I have a bunch of them prepared here in this other jar. I'm gonna show you a couple of them. Basically what I did was I took old uh, clothing that was already, um, you know, fit to be rags basically, and uh, I cut them into thin strips, like maybe about one centimeter pinkies width, you know, um, wide and then I just braided them into these little wicks and uh, one of the videos I've seen uh, basically explains that uh, you can make the wick last longer by uh, soaking it in salt water so what I did was I just uh, took some boiling water um, or I added salt to water I boiled it and when it was boiling I added all these wicks I made a bunch you can see them here and uh, just added a bunch and then basically just uh, let them soak in there for a few minutes, took them out, dried them, and then these are the wicks that you see in here. That serves as basically like a sponge to suck up the oil to the top, and then the very end is what's burning. And I guess the last component is basically these wire um, holders that you can see. I don't wanna melt the camera here, getting too close, but uh, I'll pull one out here. You can see it just melt, um, it just made these uh, little, um, wires into these nice little shapes with a little handle at the top here and then the little uh, you know spiral shape in the in the middle just serves to hold the uh, flame kind of more towards the center of the uh, of the glass so it doesn't get too close and, uh, and it just holds the wick in place if it, if it were to fall back in the oil will actually suffocate the flame so you need something to hold the wick out some of the videos I've seen have much more fancy designs for holding the wick. Um, for now, I've just gone with little twists in the wire. Um, I just used regular uh, pair of pliers like this to just grab the, the wire end and just twist it into that shape. And then I make it tight enough so that the wick is held in place just by the friction. Uh, 
and I don't do anything fancy beyond that. And uh, the wire itself I actually got from the renovations on our tiny house. I uh, basically just took a pair of wire strippers like this. You could use a knife and um, basically just you know stripped off the plastic from wiring that we had in the house that I'm upgrading and uh, just use that. And so even that didn't cost me any money, just a little bit. And also Mrs. CO is making nice little decorative little designs like this uh, guitar shape here. And um, yeah, basically like, you know, we're doing other stuff from this wire. Uh, we have our uh, company, uh, ZSP Creations, which we uh, make coconut shell guitar picks and jewelry and stuff like that. And we use the, uh, the copper in that as well. If anybody wants any of that stuff, then make sure you follow us on Instagram and Facebook. I'll put links in the description for that too, and you guys can check out what we do. And um, I think there's some pretty nice bits of jewelry in there as well. If anybody's not a musician, but you just like the jewelry, you can support us that way. So that's like another thing that uh, I'd be really appreciative if anybody wants to come and follow us on Instagram um, or Facebook, that, that's cool too. But uh, anyway, long story short is basically you have these um, basically really simple components that allow you to have free light uh, in your home and uh, you can see most of them are burning really clean I, I will be uh, up front you can see this one's kind of smoking a little bit the one back here in the middle I don't know if you can see it kind of in the camera it might be hard to see but this one's a little bit smoky the other ones are burning super clean uh, usually the smoke settles down within a minute or two of, of going this one for some reason I don't know that's just kind of smoky a little bit more I might have too much of the wick up and uh, that might be why it's smoking a little bit. I'm still getting the hang of this. It's certainly, um, you know, something that you need a little bit of practice to dial in the, the wick height that you want up uh, to make sure that it's not um, kind of smoking too much. The, fr the flame isn't too big and you also don't want it to be too far down because then the flame is going to be really small. The, uh, the other thing that you want to keep an eye on is um, eventually enough of the wick burns away that the flame just gets smaller and smaller and smaller and eventually it'll probably go out if you don't do anything. So every once in a while you kind of have to pull up, uh, you know, using the little handle here and then you can use a pair of pliers or something and just pull more of the wick up um, as it's uh, burning. So it's not like a set it and forget it kind of thing, but it does burn for quite a while before you have to do that. So. I think it's it's just really fun like we made these together with the kids and uh it was a really great project i actually had um, my siblings kids over for like a party and i helped make some of them for them as well so we showed them how to do it and spread the knowledge a little bit and everybody had a great time kind of uh making their own little lanterns and uh you know getting the cooking oil as well you can pretty much get that for free i mean if somebody cooks a lot with oil uh, then it's easy to get but uh, also um, like nowadays you can just go to most recycling places and they will have uh, places that people can dump their um, well not dump but leave their spent uh, cooking oil so you can easily get a you know a jar of it or a, a bottle of it that people will leave there and um, you just let it settle until it's like relatively clear you can see this is looking pretty nice I don't think it's it's too bad it doesn't smell bad um, I think this one is just a little bit, you know, the smoke is kind of dying down now, but it's a little bit smelly. Like you can, you can definitely smell this one. <clears throat> the other ones just seem really good. But, uh, yeah, I think maybe depending on how clean the oil is too, uh, that also might affect how smoky it is. I mean, this is just probably a mix of various cooking oils, probably mostly sunflower oil. Cause I think that's what most people use, uh, here in Hungary. But, um, yeah, I mean there, you could use any oil, literally you could use, you know, canola oil, um, olive oil, like whatever you have, it doesn't matter. You can use it. Uh, it's pretty cool that, uh, this, you know, this just works and, um, it's like really old technology, kind of like people have been using oil lamps for like the longest time. And I just didn't realize how easy it is to, to make it work, uh, for yourself at home. So yeah, anyway, um, that's it. I'm going to end the video here again. You know, I made all of this stuff for basically for free or very little money. You can see, I got a bunch of different wicks. That'll probably last like, you know, months worth of use out of the three lamps here. Um, took me, you know, maybe, I don't know, an hour's worth of effort to make the three lamps and the wicks and, you know, boil the water and all that kind of stuff and get it all sorted out. So it's really a fun little project you can do with your kids and then just have a little, you know, uh, way to provide light on a, you know, evening outside or at home uh, to give yourself a little mood lighting. It's pretty cool. I'm really happy about this. 
So that's it. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate that. And uh, yeah, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. I uh, have a lot of, you know, other videos related to kind of preparedness in the sense of cooking and canning. And those might be of interest to you as well. So check those out if you haven't seen them. And uh, if you have experience with this, let me know. Uh, if you, or if you have your own kind of recommendations to get it to smoke less, that would be awesome too. All right, guys. And then to put them out, you just put the lids on and it'll just suffocate the flame. And uh, it'll, it'll put out the flame like that after a little bit. See, it's starting to settle down. It'll go out, boom. So very simple. Just put the, put the lid on and the light goes out. Sometimes it does that little pop because it's uh, creating a vacuum. That's it, guys. See you. Bye.